In this tutorial, I'll take you through installing Stam's Robot Shop. This is a free sample microservices application that you can use for exploring the whole world of microservices and Kubernetes. And of course, installing the Instana agent against it. Steps are relatively straightforward. You'll need uh, somewhere to run Stan's robot shop. Typically you'll need about uh, two, two CPU cores and two gigs of memory. I typically use Amazon EC2 for this with a T2 medium. You need to make sure the port 8080 is accessible. Stan's robot shop, the web interface will be on that. You need a Linux image with Docker, Docker Compose with Git installed. It's all pretty easy to get those set up. Use Git to clone the repository that's uh, available on GitHub. Then pull the Docker images associated with that and run those images. I'll take you through that right now. Now I'm going to install Stan's Robot Shop and get it running. For this purpose, I'm using an Amazon EC2 instance. This is a T2 medium, which is two CPUs and four gigs of memory, which is more than big enough for the task. First thing we need to do is clone the repository so we just do a git clone of the github repository to pull that down it's not that big so it shouldn't take too long there it is so we've got that uh, pulled down I should also point out at this point that on my EC2 instance I've already installed docker and docker compose so changing into the robot shop directory we can see we've got all our source there so we could build from source but all the docker images are already hosted on docker hub so to save a bit of time we can just use uh, docker compose to pull all those images down and just let that run for a moment now that all of those images have been pulled down so they're available locally I can just uh, again use docker compose to start up the application so we use docker compose up to bring it up minus D puts it into the background that's it so the robot shop is now running and if I do docker ps see with all our containers up and running. The front end to Robot Shop application will be on port 8080. As I'm running in EC2, I've already modified my security policy to allow port 8080 to connect. Robot Shop also includes a load generation script, so once we've got the agent installed, we can actually see a bit of traffic without having to manually generate it ourselves. So let's go have a quick look at the Robot Shop web application. I've opened my browser onto the EC2 instance. It's running Stan's Robot Shop port 8080, and we can see that the uh, launch of the Robot Shop was successful, and I can interact with it, and everything seems to be working quite nicely. Now that we've got Stan's robot shop up and running so we have something to monitor, go on to the next tutorial to see how quickly and easily you can get started with the Instana agent and start monitoring the application.